Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel Code with Arohi. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to test your custom single shot detector model. So uh, guys, in my last video, I have already shown you the implementation like how to train your custom single shot detector model. So if you uh, uh, so if you want to learn how to train your custom single shot detector model, then you can check that video link is given in description section in this video i will directly start from the testing part right so we'll di will directly perform the testing of uh, this uh, single shot detector i'm just giving you a brief idea that we uh, we were working on two classes headphone class and the earphone class right so basically what we want is we want to want to develop our object detector which can detect whether the object is headphone or earphone right so this is what we want so uh, after a few epochs uh, i'm using uh, see model is uh, still uh, under training so i am just showing you the implementation how to test uh, the single shot detector after a few epochs so you can see this result over here so this is a headphone and this is the uh, label we are getting and over uh, sorry bounding box and over here you can see we are getting one right and then we are getting 0 0.503 so uh, guys from my previous class again so we have given label number one to headphone and label number two to earphone so this is a headphone so that's why we are getting label number one over here and this is the um, score confidence score we are getting right so this is the output we are getting from our single shot detector model so now i'll show you how i perform this functionality so guys uh, for this again the code which you need to uh, the code which we are using is that code is present in this github repo so you have to so if you are directly checking this video you need to clone this github repo first and link is given in description section right so uh, from this github repo just see in this github repo i have added one more file guys so this test underscore ssd underscore model this is this jupyter notebook i have added right so this notebook will show you the um, implementation how to test your custom model so let's open this uh, notebook so this is the notebook okay so first of all we are importing all the required modules right and these are the modules we are importing and uh, other modules also after that just see over here the code is starting from here the important code okay so this net shape 300 comma 300 this simply means so we are working on ssd 300 model which will accept the input size of 300 into 300 image size should be 300 into 300 okay so that's that is uh, what i'm writing over here and this is the data format okay and after that we are using this placeholder which will accept the input and after that these are uh, some uh, pre-processing steps right so these are few pre-processing steps we are using and then over here we are defining the model the uh, important step again this line just see this line over here you can see this is the model which is present in log folder so this is the trained model which we are getting from our single shot detector model okay after training so guys remember from my last class i've told you like once our training get completed we will get our trained model inside this log folder so i'm using that trained model from log folder okay so let me show you that lo log folder so uh, this over here you can see this is my log folder inside this log folder i have multiple models right so epoch wise epoch uh, you will get multiple models and i'm using the latest model this one i'm using this model right now to test my algorithm but training is still going on okay so this is the model i have uh, used over here and then we are starting the session and initializing the uh, variables after that just see here we are using one function with the name of process image this function is responsible for providing you this function will give you the class name of the object it will give you the label and it will give you the bounding box coordinates right so class 
it will give you the label means class name it will give you the score and it will give you the bounding box for each object right so this is the important function which we are using now we will read our images on which we want to perform the detection so over here i am giving the path to demo folder okay let's see what is there in my demo folder so inside my demo folder here so these are the two images i want to make predictions on these two images okay so uh, what we are doing is we, uh, path equals to this that means uh, it will go inside a demo folder and over here i'm using list directory which will give me the list of files and folders which is inside demo folder so it is showing me that we have two different files in it and then i'm reading the file using cv2 after that i'm using process underscore image function this function process underscore image function so i have just told you that this function is responsible for giving you the class name score and the bounding box for each object so the image which we picked from this folder we want to you know get the class name score and bounding box so so that's why we are using process image function on image variable img variable what, uh, what is there in img variable in img variable we are reading images from this location okay so means inside this img folder we are reading our images from demo folder and then we are applying process image function on it so that we can get a class name and score and the bounding box and after that we are plotting it now you can see over here this is the result we are getting so this is what we want guys so this is how single shot detector work and again to know how i train this model to know how to prepare data for single shot detector you can check the video link is given in description section and even if you want to learn how to train your custom single shot detector model on google colab notebook that link is also given in description section and even i am going i'm i'll give this um, link also in my description section so that you can try this code so guys hope you like my video and guys please share subscribe and like my channel if you um like watching my videos thank you so much